Hey everyone, welcome back, this is Martin. Today we're going to be looking at Remote's PDF Annotator, which lets you take any PDF slides, lecture notes, or other papers, and upload them directly to Remnote. Once you have these, you can then link them, highlight them, and make flashcards from them. First, you can go to some document and press Add Source or File here. You can then take a file that's either already online and paste in the URL here, or take a file that's on your computer and upload it. This can either be a PDF, a PowerPoint, a Word document, or more. Here I'm going to take some lecture slides, press Add Source here, paste in the link, and then press Add PDF. You can see that the PDF automatically appears on the right with my notes on the left so that I can begin taking notes. It also automatically fills out the title for me to save me that extra step. I can then begin making highlights just by selecting some text in the PDF here and then pressing this Highlight button. Or I can press Command-C to do it from my keyboard. Once I copy the highlight, or once I create the highlight, it's automatically copied to my clipboard so that I can then go to my notes on the left over here and paste it in. I can either paste it as a reference like this, or I can click something in this menu to change how the reference looks. Here, for example, I'll change it to a pin so that it's more concise and tidier in my notes. I can then continue to make highlights, and then whenever I click on a highlight in my notes, I'll automatically be brought to the corresponding location in the PDF on the right. This makes it really easy to stay organized in my notes and then navigate around to my source documents. If, for example, I were to close this PDF here, clicking on these references would still automatically bring me back to that same source location. I can also make highlights of any image just by clicking on the Area Highlight button here and then dragging over a box of the part that I want to remember. Alternatively, I can do that even faster by just holding down Alt and then immediately being able to drag here. After selecting text, you can see that there are a few options in the highlight pop-up. I can either directly create a highlight, or I can press note and immediately begin taking notes directly on the PDF itself, saying my notes here. Once I've created this highlight, I can then click on it to change its color, view the notes that I've taken, or add more notes, or delete or copy the highlight. If I want to view all the highlights that I've created, I can click on this icon here, this opens up a right sidebar that lists out all the highlights in one place, as well as my notes, and I can immediately begin taking more notes directly underneath the highlights here. Any notes that I create on these highlights will automatically be linked to the highlight itself. And you can see that if I click on the highlight, it'll jump to the corresponding place in my PDF. In this right sidebar, I can also toggle on this bullet mode, which makes it easier for me to batch edit my highlights. For example, I can select over these here and delete them, or I can select over these here and batch change them both to purple. I actually do want those highlights that I just deleted though, so I'll just press Ctrl Z a few times and they come right back. If it's getting dark out, I like to turn on dark mode. I can either do this from the theme in the PDF itself by just switching to dark here, or I can change it to solarized, or I can change this at the entire remnote level by going to the left sidebar, pressing the command icon here, and then just typing in dark mode. You can see that if my notes change to dark mode, then the PDF changes as well. I'll change that back to light mode here by just going to the command icon again and typing in light mode. As I continue to highlight, I start right into this issue where I often don't want to select individual characters like this. You see I'm missing the L at the beginning and end here, but I generally want to select entire words. Here you can go and enable the snap highlight to words option, which makes it so that when you select any part of the word, the entire thing is immediately selected. This makes highlighting a lot faster and you can make it even faster yet by going and enabling auto highlight. Now, whenever I select this and release my mouse, the highlight is immediately created and copied to my clipboard. You can see my cursor is even brought back to the left so that I can paste in the highlight and then just really quickly begin going through and organizing my notes. Although the emphasis is on the highlighting here, the bulk of the work actually happens in the note section on the left. Here, I can organize my notes into bullets, I can create flashcards, and more. If you want to see more about workflows involving the PDF annotator, look at the videos that we've linked at the end of this video. If I close out of the PDF annotator and then later come back, you can see that we have a progress bar automatically stored at the top here. It remembers how much I read and allows me to easily jump back to that location. If I had uploaded a PDF that has sections like this one here, then you can see that the sections of the PDF are displayed at the top in the progress bar as well. I can click around to each section just by clicking on the corresponding area of this progress bar, or I could just click on where I had last read so that I can quickly jump back 
into my reading. You can additionally open up the sidebar on the right here and switch to the contents. This shows you each of the sections of the PDF so that you can navigate between them or you can toggle open to view the subsections too. While reading, I like to keep my notes organized by different sections of the PDF that I'm focusing on. Each of the headers in the PDF automatically have this little header button positioned next to them. When I click on that, you can see that the header is automatically highlighted and a section in my notes is created. I can then begin typing out my notes here. And then when I get to the next section, which is either section five here, if we just jump to that, then I can click on the header button and again, begin taking my notes there. As I'm reading, I often like to try to extract concepts from what I'm learning. Here, I can go and make a highlight for some concept like depth limited search, and then click this advanced option for turning this into a concept. You can see that this also automatically extracts this term as a concept and adds it in my notes as a portal. To learn more about portals, we'll also link something in the video description. As I continue to read, I'll get more and more highlights for different important information in this PDF. It's useful to be able to organize these with colors, and you can just click on any highlight here and change its color from the pop-up menu. Any color that you apply in the PDF here will automatically be applied to any references, so you can see it's red here, and in the highlight sidebar on the right, so that you can easily scan for the kind of highlight that you're looking for. For example, it's useful to use a convention where to-dos or highlights you need to follow up on could be in red. You can also organize your PDFs themselves by applying tags. Just come up to this button at the top here and press to add a tag. Here, this is a research paper, so I could go and add that as a tag, and now you can see that it's displayed at the top. Navigating to this tag will then show me any of the PDFs in my knowledge base that are tagged as a research paper. In general, PDFs are tightly integrated with your notes. For example, if you go search for something in your knowledge base, like the neural network-based evaluation here, then you can see that this highlight in the PDF itself is automatically shown. If I click on this one, then you can see that we're brought to the corresponding place in my notes, and then I can just click on the highlight here to immediately jump back to the source location. All of the PDFs in my knowledge base are displayed in the All Notes page here. You can see that in this test account, I've uploaded a few, such as this research paper and a few different slides for this class that I'm in. As you're reading from a PDF, it's useful to create flashcards. There's a few ways to do that. First, you can copy a highlight like this one, paste it into your notes, and then type the double right arrow once and then twice, which creates a flashcard anywhere in RemNote. I can then add my own definition of what probabilistic search is here. And you can see that flashcards that look like this are automatically generated where this one's testing me what my definition of probabilistic search is. Additionally, I can create flashcards in the PDF itself. To do so, I'll go and enable edit highlight text here. And then whenever I go and open up the notes section for any highlight, you can see that I can then just select some text here and then press this fill in the blank button. This will create a flashcard that hides this part of the highlight for me. So that when I go to practice for my flashcards, you can see that it's asking me to recall the part that I marked as fill in the blank there. You can do this for images as well. Here, for example, if I create an image highlight by drawing a box over this and then paste that into my notes, I can just click on the three dots here, press generate image occlusion cards, and then again, draw a box over the part that I want to remember. This makes it really easy to understand figures and images. So that's it. If you wanna get started yourself, you can go to your Remnote account create a new document, and then click Add Source or File at the top here to upload a PowerPoint, Word document, PDF, or more. Then you can just start creating your first highlight. If you want to learn more about workflows for either understanding lecture notes more deeply, click this video, or if you want to learn more about how to read research papers more effectively, click this one. But otherwise, happy learning.